Guys, we're back at it again with some spicy moth content. So today I just wanted to show off two moon moths I have today. As you all know, moon moths are the superior race and uh, all other creatures and moths are 100% inferior, including humans. Now, let us go through these truly superior creatures. I have two species in here right now. One is Actius sinensis, and the other one is Actius luna. Let us go through them together. Alright. First off, let's just look at the luna first. Right here we have my biggest luna in the box. This is an L5. I personally think these are cool because instead of the red dots, they actually have blue dots. Kind of a little bit hard to tell from the from the quality of the camera, but let's take some of this out. Let's see a little bit better. And I did not have a very good hatching rate on my Sinensis, so I don't have too many of those, but here's one. As you can see, it's going to um, in star four right now. It's very nice, very nice. Ooh. And I have two more sentences in here. Might be on, might be one on here. I don't think there is. As you can see, there are very many. Some others are L5, like this one here. We have a lot, like all of these on, like right here, are going to L5. See? And... Yeah. Let's look for some sinensis in here. They blend in very well with the crowd. They're not too distinguishable. If I put them side by side, you can definitely tell the difference. Is this one? Ah. Look at that nice sinensis. You might have remember last year when I had Selene. Those were a bust because I ran out of food. Literally, it just became winter and they starved because I had nothing left to feed them. But it's September right now, two months before I would have that problem. So they should be good. And these Lunas are definitely going to be good. They're all basically L4 and L5 except maybe a few. But then again, I can just raise those few. It's not going to be that difficult. Oh, here's the final sentences down here. I'm not going to pull him out. I'm just going to let him be. But that's the final one. I had six hatch. And only three so far look like they made it. But that's okay. Because I can. St I, I'm planning on making a hybrid of my Luna in Sinensis. Also, some very, very exciting things. I am receiving 40 eggs of Actius Rhodonuma. Remember how last year I was going to say that? I was going to get those? I received eggs of that moth last year, and I really, really wanted some. I really wanted those guys to raise, but I did not. I failed. And hopefully, the package delays because of this stupid corona thing are not going to mess up my package and delay them. And I'll hopefully be able to get those. I'm also getting Dubernardi. Just getting a whole bunch of moon moths. But I really, really hope that those eggs arrive. 
because I really, cr I am craving those species right now. I have been trying to get Rhodonuma livestock ever since October, October of last year, and I'm finally getting them again. And I've never actually received Dubernardi livestock because I just couldn't afford it, or Corona just would not let me have my packages, so that's that. But that has been our video looking at my Luna Moths. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video, hopefully when my eggs of the Dubernardi and Rhodonuma arrive. Also, everybody, if we have to sacrifice one of those mo moon moths to arrive alive, just so that the other one will, everybody in the comment section type, Rhodonuma is life, and hopefully we can get this uh, Rhodonuma to arise and show the universe that I deserve respect and Rhodonuma in my life. So please, everybody in the comment section, comment, Rhodonuma is life! And you will receive a like. And the first person to do it, I will pin your comment. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.